Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just going to be giving you another update on some of my peppers. Those two you can see there are my pepper X's, and the other two there, I don't know what those two in the middle are. I haven't uh, tagged them, but the one, the little one on the right, that's my Trinidad Moruga Scorpion Yellow. It's about four months old, from what I can remember. Didn't do well at the start, but suddenly started growing and bigger leaves appeared, so. I'm going to transplant it let's see what happens um, the two in the middle again I didn't tag them um, they weren't growing well but suddenly started producing peppers and as you can see they're quite small so I'm just gonna transplant them as well um, into bags I'm not sure if you can see the flowers there really small pepper um, I'm not gonna pick them off just because um, yeah I can't be bothered just want to see what they produce um, I'll take the the L on those one but yeah I'm gonna be transplanting a few pots I'm not gonna record all of them because it's just myself um, but my plan was to transplant those ones there as well um, that's my why not white or the Ripper white and I think that's my seven pot that I was looking to transplant as well but yeah there's so many um and that's my pink tiger uh, i want to transplant that as well but no time and i think one of the main reasons is to actually move some of them into those bags that you can see there the grow bags and see if it affects um and also i want to try mycorrhizal fungi um i've been hearing loads of good stuff about those so i just want to see what would that would do to the plants so those are the mycorrhizal fungi i'm going to be trying that's the dynamico premium uh, mycorrhizal and i've also got one that's the a liquid version which is from orca again most of this i've actually seen them on youtube and loads of people have said good things about them especially the orca um so yeah i'm gonna try those and see what they do so that's the massive pot i'm moving my pepper x's into um, another thing I want to try the mycorrhizal is just to see what that actually does. Um, so I'm thinking if I use the mycorrhizal, they communicate, right? I might be wrong. So if anyone knows more, just let me know. But if those fun guys could uh, communicate, maybe it would help my pepper X's. So there you go. Wonderful root systems. And obviously the mycorrhizal fun guys will also help the root system as well. So hopefully that gives it a boost reduces the transplant shock that's the op um but yeah i was quite happy with the root system there so um happy with that anyway i have transplanted those <laughs> uh, it was just me so i couldn't really do the camera and record and transplant at the same time but anyway that's the orca one you can't really see it very well on the video but it looked like i can see the fungi Hmm, anyway, never mind. But I'm using about 12 ml um, in about a 30 litre. Uh, it says you could use, use up to three times, so I'm sure I'm using less than I should really, but I've just used that really to test. And I'm using that as my water, <laughs> my water bottle. So. I've used the liquid version for all my other plants. It's okay to go on the leaves. It doesn't really affect. Um, so I've just used that to uh, water all my plants. Whereas I use the Dynamico uh, Mycorrhizal for my transplant. I've actually just done my, that's my yellow one. I just watered my Moruga Scorpion yellow. So I've transplanted that as well. Again, unfortunately i couldn't record the video of transplanting that so apologies but yeah i did a lot of that today um i actually recorded this video last week i just not had time and i'm probably going to be recording a video of that little one there so watch out for that and yeah i'll let you guys know soon how all of them have been um they are looking nice but it's been raining for over a week now so 
everything has been slow but anyway like share subscribe thanks guys